It was just about 10 years ago when Sitam established a, a Sitam Eldoret in the beautiful city of uh, uh, Eldoret. The ministry came to Eldoret in May 2013 with a staff of five headed by Reverend John Weslingu, the senior pastor. We started our weekly prayer meetings every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Alfax College until 30th June 2013 when we held our first service at the Noble Conference Center. The dedication and commissioning of our plot was done by our Deputy Bishop, Reverend Kennedy Kimiwe, our Senior Pastor, Reverend John Weslingu, together with other church leaders. The church continued meeting at the Noble Conference Center until July 13th, 2014, when we moved to our pioneer plot. Today, we are celebrating 10 years of God's faithfulness as a Sitam Assembly. I'm serving as the current and the fourth senior pastor of this beautiful assembly, which began some 10 years ago in the year 2013 in April. We have seen the assembly grow tremendously, and now we stand at 1,500 members, and we give God all the glory. We were officially launched as an assembly on September 28, 2014, by Bishop Emeritus David Oginde, the then presiding bishop of Sitam. The launch was graced by our president, His Excellency Dr. William Samoei Ruto, who was then the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And we want to welcome you to join us uh, from all walks of life uh, as we celebrate uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, in the presence of God because of his faithfulness to us for 10 years. Hundreds of people have great testimonies of what God has done to them through the ministry of Sitam Eldoret. I joined Sitam Eldoret in the year 2013, June. In May 2013, 2015, 2013, the month of June. 2013. 2013, June. 2013, Eldoret. But I transferred, I was in Sitam Thicker Road in the year 2013. In collaboration with Pan-African Christian University, we enrolled a number of leaders in the Transformational Church Leadership class in March 2014. I've been a student at uh, TCL where we are trained as leaders in church. The first cohort graduated in 2017 and most of the graduates have since taken part in ministry leadership. First impression I had when I got to church, I loved the worship, I loved the teaching of the word. I found a community that loves people. I was happy with the way the services were run and also the word that was preached, which was of sound doctrine. I met a community of believers who love to study the word of God together and to pray together. And that is what I was looking for. What an experience that was because the expectation was so high. My family has been quite impacted. I've been a Sunday school teacher and I thank God for that opportunity to serve in the church. Sitam has uh, helped me grow spiritually. The knowledge that I've uh, gotten in Sitam has also helped me also in my place of work. We were looking for a fellowship that we could be able to just be built up in our faith. We have had our highs and lows as a ministry but the Lord has been gracious to us. We hosted our first leadership breakfast on March 4, 2014 at Boma Inn, bringing together leaders from Uwasengishu County, the judiciary, security, and the clergy, among other leaders. The love of God, the love for others, and the love for self. To put them in spiritual language, we can call this righteousness, justice and integrity. We are talking about leaders who possess within their system, in their attitude and disposition, a fear of God. We held a businessmen and women's dinner at the Noble Hotel and Conference Center on March 5th, 2014. In attendance were businessmen and women from various cadres within Uwasengishu County. For you to be a Christian accountant, there might be seen something that differs from the non-Christian accountant. Are we together? And so you must be able to do your job like an accountant plus, an engineer plus, 
We organized and hosted a successful sportsmen and women's breakfast as an outreach to the sports fraternity in the North Rift. We hosted the North Rift Economic Block, NOREB, cohesion breakfast at the Queen's Garden Hotel. The chief guest was Honorable Francis Olekaparo, the then chair of NCIC. Governors, their representatives, and staff from the Norup counties were in attendance. We have been responding to the drought hit neighboring counties in the North Rift with medical camps, foodstuff, and the love of Christ. The county tree planting exercise was held in May 2015. The event was graced by the Uwasingishu County Forester, Deputy County Commissioner, and Uwasingishu County Minister for Environment, among other guests. CSR activities have been held. We have been at work. We have had time to pray for the county leadership and even more to go to the community with projects like the administration police camp. We have held several outreach activities, including... We have coordinated together even with other ministers in this city and we have reached this city over 100,000 people have been reached with the gospel. Countless outreaches and PPI to high schools and primary schools, outreach to colleges, intervarsity caches and musical concerts, several outreaches to Eldoret Women's Prison by the Women's Ministry and Garia Prison by Men's Ministry. DVBS is a program that has run and has impacted the community and my family. The DVBS has been a great thing that parents in and out of Sitama have really appreciated. We have really impacted family. The DVBS, when the DVBS came, it even brought more members, you know, to the church. Medolet has impacted my life through the Word of God. I went through premarital classes, which has helped me as an individual and also as a family. It has enabled me to grow my scope of leadership, having served in various capacities. As a family, we have, by the grace of God, served in different ministries. We have grown personally and we've been able to impact the lives of many other people. We've also impacted the community in terms of uh, sharing the Word of God. I have found a community where people are cared for, I remember in between uh, these years, I lost a very close relative of mine in my group where I belong to really cared for me. My pastors reached out to me. It has helped me to grow spiritually as a person and also in that capacity as a leader. I have acquired quite a number of skills. The church's growth in ministry and leadership structures and the growth of Sitton School's elderate having their pupils sit for KCPE and CBC exams for the very first time. I have also served in the Sitam schools as a BOM chair, and I thank God that the school has also grown over the year. We thank God we got excellent results, and the church has really been able to impact the children as well. Key highlights was when we had the crowd breaking, all the worship experiences that we have had as, as a ministry. We have really benefited from Sitam. My children are in the Sunday school. They're also in uh, Sitam schools. I was able to join in the present worship team, the business community. I have really uh, grown and I'm a different individual. The SMLD, whereby I've been able to go through the SMLD and I've been impacted as a leader. The Safari, whereby many people have been able to be discipled. We appreciate your contribution to the ministry of CETAM Eldred, both in kind and in giving. May God reward you abundantly. When I see the outreach uh, department reaching out, planning out programs that deal with children, children come to church and they learn the word of God. They will live also to be important people in the marketplace. In the next 10 years, I see Kitale becoming an assembly under Sitam. Uh, Iten, Cabernet, I see us getting to 10,000 in the next 10 years and probably be in a big, beautiful sanctuary. In the next 10 years, impacting the society. In the near future, we believe that Sitam is going places. People are hungry for the word of God. 
They are hungry for the teaching of a sound gospel which Sitam has offered over the years. I see Sitam Eldoret in the next 10 years becoming a place for discipling the church in Eldoret. In the next 10 years, I want to see Sitam Eldoret as a key pace setter in this town. I'm seeing Sitam uh, grow even in this part of town and also in uh, Baringo, the sides of Cabernet. Uh, and maybe even uh, those sides of Pokot. Looking forward, we want to see greater impact in the lives of people right from here in Eldoret to the greater community. I want to actually, as we celebrate 10th anniversary, to thank God, our founding senior pastor, Reverend Westling Gu, and my mom, uh, Josephine Gu, for being part of this journey, seeing this church planted, and other predecessors, that is Reverend Shichende and Mom Ross, together with Reverend Ibrahim and Mom Eunice, who have steered this assembly. We welcome you to join us in celebrating our Lord and Savior. As we celebrate 10 years of God's faithfulness, we can only look back and say, Thus far, the champion of champions has taken us. For Sitam Eldoret, we want to say congratulations as you celebrate this 10th anniversary. We may the Lord grant you great and successful years ahead. We want to welcome you as we celebrate God's faithfulness. Our theme for this celebration is Thanksgiving in His presence. Welcome to Sitam Eldoret. 10th anniversary. May God bless you so much and uh, happy anniversary. God bless you.